Gaurav Gogoi, the BJP's view is we don't want a discussion on this because this is a sensitive issue. We cannot be seen as a divided house. Why should the Congress be asking Parliament or the Defence Minister the question that Rahul Gandhi keeps asking, has China occupied Indian territory? Is that a question that should be answered in Parliament at this stage while the two sides are still engaged in some kind of disengagement and talks? Rajdeep, today in Parliament, every political party was ready to stand up and send a message of solidarity mm -hmm. with the Indian Army and send a tough message to China. Mm -hmm. But what the BJP government did, they allowed the minister to make a statement mm -hmm. and did not allow any other political party to speak. Is the army the sole property of the BJP government? The Indian Army belongs to all of us mm -hmm. and we are proud of them. And today it was their right to hear from all political ma parties messages of support and solidarity. But they denied that. Why? Because there is an extraordinary situation where the BJP government has contradicted the Prime Minister's own statement. The Prime Minister says there has been no intrusion, nobody has entered. Mm -hmm. The government through its various sources is saying, no, the Chinese have transgressed ac across the LSE. So it's an extraordinary situation and therefore it was incumbent that the government come true. Somebody is misleading the nation. No, no, what, the what is, no, no, I'm not able is to understand Gaurav Bogoy. And that is what I, no, no, what is it? asking. No, no, do you want the government to admit in parliament that the Chinese have occupied, as is being claimed, uh, areas around Pangong, so till finger eight? Do you want them to admit this on the floor of the house or should this be left first to see it's an evolving fluid situation along the line of actual control why can't the congress be a little bit more patient the government of india deserves to tell the people of india the truth and not mislead when satellite images are showing one thing it is wrong for the prime minister to mislead the people of his country and congress wants one thing when will status quo ante be returned and restored? The Prime Minister does not mention it. Today the Defence Minister did not mention it. The Government of India has all, it, all, all the means to take back the land occupied by Chinese troops. We support the Government of India if they want to take back the land. But now nowhere do they talk about status quo ante. Now they're talking about historic accords in the minister's statement. These accords have been trashed by the Chinese government. The Chinese government engages India in talks mm -hmm. while at the same time encroaching upon Indian territory in Arunachal Pradesh and kidnapping five young people. Can I... So we want the government of India to send a strong message to China mm -hmm. that we, have to, we are going, not going to let bilateral relationship move forward without solving the boundary issue. You know, we that, want the government that, of that, India you know, to that, come that, clear To be fair, to the defense minister did restored. give a strong signal saying that India will not compromise its territorial integrity and sovereignty and was ready for any situation. But very quickly, uh, uh, Sudhanshu Trivedi, why is the government unable to tell us whether the status quo ante is going to be resolved or not? Rajiv ji, Rajdeep ji, the problem is they are neither having faith on the statement of the uh, ministry, neither having faith on the statement of the uh, military, mm -hmm. neither having faith in the statement of uh, prime minister, and nor having the faith in the statement of the Chinese government, which has said that we have entered into their territory. So from where they can get the satisfaction, because their track record is very well known. In Balakot, when the Air Force has done uh, PC, they have raised the question. And when the surgical strike director general military operations have done PC, still they were having a question and saying surgical strike. So I don't understand this, brother. Who will understand this? Take the idea of India. Take the idea of India. Take the idea of India. If you don't want to understand it, you don't want to understand it. And you don't want to understand it. Let me let me come to Ajay Shukla. Ajay Shukla, the one issue, of course is status quo ante to the situation that existed before May Rajdeep, when allegedly the Chinese made the incursions. I want to can understand in, from Rajdeep. you, did you get any sense from what the defense minister said that India has a concrete plan to ensure that the status quo ante is restored? Uh, the concrete plan, I think, was covered in that defense ministry statement that he cannot talk about certain tactical realities that are existing at this point in time. 
uh, I would imagine he was referring to the build-up of Indian troops on the, uh, along the border, uh, the sort of operations that they're taking to, to occupy tactically dominating heights, uh, and basically their their day-to-day -day tussle against the PLA, which is very much underway on the border right now, according to all my sources. So uh, I don't think there's a question of uh, any sort of doubts about uh, what the Indian Army is doing or that it's taking steps to recover its lost territory. But this status quo ante is never actually explicitly mentioned now by BJP spokespersons mm. or by the ministers for the simple reason that the Prime Minister has chosen to take the stance that no incursions have taken place, the Chinese have not whistled into Indian territory. Uh, now, in that, he is in line with the Chinese statements, as Sudhanshu Trivedi just ironically said. So the Prime Minister is in line with the Chinese statements in that saying that all the territory that the PLA has occupied is not Indian territory, it is Chinese territory. So in that sense, he's ceding territory to the Chinese. Uh, that is contrary to Indian national interests. But remember mm. that it is Rajnath Singh who has said uh, on one occasion, he said there is no guarantee that the PLA will withdraw from Indian territories. On another occasion, uh, a, web, uh, a sort of a statement was put up on the MAMOD website, which was later retracted, which explicitly admitted right. that, uh, sort of incursions by the Chinese. I don't think there's really anyone in this country except a handful of BJP spokespersons who, who believe that the Chinese are not in Indian territory. Otherwise, what is this whole kerfuffle all about? Okay. What is the status quo ante that we're choosing to restore? So I think it would be good and it would be good for our flexibility of action as a country to admit the incursions and to say that we're going to do what it takes to evict them uh, and to use some of the language that Rajnath Singh used today.